What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I got a package in today and it's something I should have probably ordered a long time ago. It's a replacement backplate for our Steam Deck. Um, I got it from iFixit, which taxes and shipping was just a little, slightly over, I think it was like $31.50. $31.50. Love the packaging, pretty awesome. Pretty, look at this. If you needed, for whatever reason, a spare backplate, you could order an OEM one from iFixit. Poppy here. Just want to say, if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. And let's get back to the video. Okay, so this feels slightly different. Feels lighter, feels a lot lighter than the stock one that I got. Um, these pads weren't there before, so these pads are new. Yeah, so these pads are new, so yeah. Other than that, I think I think everything is about the same. We are not gonna cut any of this up, by the way. <laughs> we got it for testing purposes. You seen the last video, the ultimate Steam Deck. Literally, this is the best Steam Deck you can, um, I don't know what else to say. It's It's by far the greatest thing we've created so far on this channel and i'm pretty proud of it i did mention during this video how cool this thing gets so so what we're going to do is we're going to put our ultimate steam deck versus a stock steam deck meaning the back plate versus a jsox cooler before we get into that we're just going to run our test with our ultimate steam deck so for these testing purposes we're going to automatically set the fan speed using the Decky loader to 5,000 RPM for all the testing, including the JSOX, including the stock backplate. We're going to do all our testing, setting the fan to 5,000 RPM. So for this test, we are actually going to switch things up. Uh, we're going to use Spider-Man Miles Morales now, but I stupidly forgot to download it. We've got the game downloaded. We are currently just in the middle of Central Park, whatever this thing is. We're just down here. It looks pretty demanding. Um, the frame rate dropped like crazy. Our fan, our external one, is at full tilt 4500 RPM. And our internal fan is set to 5200. And right now we're at 7 and 68 on this CPU. And our DB is 58. Also, the room temperature is... Whew, 25.3 it is warm considering how freaking hot the room is 67 66 is really good temperatures right now really 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 good temperatures now we're going to test it in stock with our new backplate guys i just realized something with the kickstand it sits flat on the desk now real quick we're going to take a quick look at cases before we move forward do we see any real noticeable difference? It's gonna be a no. Stickers are off. A1 number five. This one's A1 only. Oh, it's a different print. Right here, you'll see that there's a clear part right here, and this is all like the scratchy surface. We don't have that here. Um, obviously, we don't know about the things that we've cut out. But yeah, there are some differences. So this backlight we just got is definitely from a different print meaning it's from a different press this was probably one of the original ones and they probably made some tweaks obviously we didn't have this before this um foam I, I feel like it feels flimsier but i could be wrong but it feels flimsier to me i think that's the biggest takeaway with this maybe it's thinner i don't know i don't know it might be the same who knows but we do have to take these heat sinks off oh man it's been a while since we've seen something stock like this so one thing i'm noticing those foam pads are not allowing these top clips to go in but i'm sure that's going to be a good thing to have um, mainly because it's probably going to keep a lot of the vibration and the noise down from the fan so all right all right, same scene. Guys, this is a lot harder than before. We're at 80, 81, 82. 
All right, we're just gonna call it there, 81, 82. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the JSOX cooler, we're gonna plug this thing in. That's more like 82, 82. Wow, it's getting hotter. It's 83 now. Damn, this is a demand. Let me swing around real quick. Yeah, that's holding 83 pretty dang good. Delta of 16. So far, this one has gotten a delta of 16. All right, let's put this JSOX cooler. So we're not gonna use the mod cooler case for this. We're just gonna go ahead and then flip it on. And we're not gonna do low, medium, high. We're just gonna we're just gonna do high. It's cooling down. It's definitely cooler than before. Just gonna swing around real quick. Just cause I want to. This is a freaking fun game. It looks like trash though, to be honest, on the Steam Deck. Oh my god, I can't wait to play this in our dock mode. This is terrible. All right, we're cooling down pretty good though. Won't lie. So right now we're at a delta of 10 from stock. Okay, there we go. I think that's it. I think that is it. Haven't seen 71 yet on the screen. Been teetering at 70 on the GPU though, but that's it, yeah. Not a bad Delta whatsoever with this JSOX cooler. All right, let's talk about it real quick. Backplate, good. You need a new backplate, buy it. Seems feel, seems feel pretty good. No issues really overall. Overall, really nice backplate. Definitely seems are beautiful. A uh, lot better than the JSOX backplate. So if you just needed a new backplate, definitely buy the OEM one from iFixit. Now let's talk about temperature. So in the game, we are at 800p. We had FSR on. We had pretty much, other than the FSR, we had stock settings. In a room temp of 25, we're going to equalize room temp for this uh, video. In a room temp of 25.5, which is freaking hot. Uh, stock, we had 82 and 83. This is a hot boy. The fan speed was equalized at 5200 RPM, meaning we set the fan to not move from anywhere but 5200 rpm and with that we did get a db of 49 pretty quiet not bad for 5200 rpm 49 db is pretty good over the stereo speakers um it's not that bad whatsoever let's get into the jsox cooler jsox cooler set to 100 percent meaning we cranked it very loud at 64 dB, same equalized room temperature of 25.5. We have a 71, 72 on the CPU means we get minus 11, which is pretty dang good considering the room conditions today. It is hot as hell today. Still got 71, 72. Um, definitely good temperatures. Let's talk about price real quick before we get into the numbers. Um, this with the mod case, MSRP is $59.99, but they sell it for $49.99. Or you could buy just the cooler itself for $34.99, which is MSRP's $39.99. Basically, they're discounting this, but they're trying to give you value. That's what they're trying to do. And they're a for-profit company. Of course, they're going to do that. But what I mean to say is you shouldn't buy this by itself. This adhesive is not great. And I actually do love this, this case. I do quite enjoy this case i like this kickstand and it feels good in the hand i'm not gonna lie this feels really good in hand that's paint from the jsox backplate it feels good in the hand it could feel better more premium definitely feels a little bit on the cheap side but considering you get a cooler with it that drops your temperature by 11 in our testing it's not a good not a bad price so altogether this one was uh, around that 55 dollar range with tax and sh actually no i didn't pay tax or ship this was exactly 50 dollars $50. For $50 as well, you could potentially make one of these if you have your own 3D printer. Obviously, that's a big thing. This one right here at 100%, meaning this fan set at 100% with our internal fan set at 5200 RPMs, just like every other test. We get a dB of 58, so still pretty loud. This one, this fan gets pretty whiny i mean like it's there's a whininess to it when you run it at its max 4500 rpm um, but still not as loud as the jsox cooler which is an extra 6 db at full uh tilt but with this mod with our heatsink 
on our APU, we got a 66 and a 67 on our CPU, which is a delta of 14 in a room temperature of 25.5. This thing is a monster. It is hot in here today, and this thing is keeping everything nice and cool. And it roughly costs the same amount as a JSOX cooler, as long as you have a 3D printer. But all in all, this thing is just for bang for your buck, the best freaking backplate you can get. It not only cools down your Steam Deck, it gives you a little some, some storage, and we're probably going to add some storage. We have so much room back here, why not fill it up? We're probably going to fill it up with a bunch of other things in the future, maybe make some changes on it. But the way it is today, it makes your Steam Deck more versatile. You have more USB ports. It runs cooler. You have a HDMI. You have some storage. And you can easily dock an M.2 to it. So pretty much a win-win. If you have the tech know-how or the capacity to learn and tinker to make one of these, I would highly suggest making one of these. Yes, it looks gaudy. Yes, it doesn't look as clean and streamlined as the stock Steam Deck backplate, but this is a delta of minus 14. We can add an external GPU. We have a dongle built in. We have an external fan that we can turn up or turn down. This is just freaking better. But in closing, the backplate from iFixit is nice. If you need a new backplate, get it. I think those foam pads are great. And I do think it makes your Steam Deck run slightly quieter. I think DB3. I wish I had a original one to check it out, but I don't. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that subscribe. Visit us at DIYpoppy.net. Go ahead and download the STL for the Ultimate Steam Deck backplate. And you can go ahead and do this mod for yourself. Send me your picture. Want to know how it goes? It's a pretty simple setup. You just gotta have the balls to cut one of these up. But now that we know I fix it, makes some pretty nice back plates. You shouldn't be too afraid. My name is Nas, aka DIY Poppy. I'll catch you guys on the next one.